harmful microorganisms. Microorganisms are harmful in many ways. Some of the microorganisms cause diseases in human beings, plants and animals. Such disease-causing microorganisms are called pathogens. Some microorganisms spoil food, clothing and leather. Pathogens enter our body through the air we breathe, the water we drink or the food we eat. They can also get transmitted by direct contact with an infected person. Microbial diseases that can be spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air, water, food or physical contact are called communicable diseases. Cholera Common cold Chickenpox and tuberculosis are the example of communicable diseases. When a person suffering from common cold sneezes, fine droplets of moisture carrying thousands of viruses are spread in the air. The virus may enter the body of a healthy person while breathing. Carriers of disease Air, water, food, vector-like housefly and mosquito. Housefly the housefly sits on the garbage and animal excreta. Pathogens stick to their bodies. When these flies sit on uncovered food, they may transfer the pathogens. Whoever eats the contaminated food is likely to get sick. So it is advisable to always keep the food covered. Protozoan, virus, bacteria are the sources of many diseases in human beings. Let's see various diseases caused by microorganisms in human beings. Malaria is caused by Plasmodium, which is a protozoan. Plasmodium lives inside female Anopheles mosquito, which feeds on the human blood. Female Anopheles bite injects malarial parasite into the person's blood. Plasmodium multiply in human blood and cause malaria. All mosquitoes breed in water. Hence, one should not let water collect anywhere in coolers, tires, flower pot, etc. Cholera Cholera is caused by bacteria Vibrio cholerae. It spreads by means of contaminated water or food. Symptoms of cholera are Abdominal cramps, dehydration, headache, vomiting and nausea. Typhoid. Typhoid is caused by bacterium Salmonella. Typhoid is transmitted by the ingestion of food or water contaminated with feces from an infected person. In this, the patient feels weak and tired. Headache, backache, diarrhea, constipation, Loss of appetite are other symptoms. Temperature rises and remains high for about 10 to 14 days. It rises in the evening and falls in the morning. Viral diseases Measles, chickenpox and polio are the viral disease and spread through air. Their vaccination is usually given to the children at an early age. Hepatitis B Hepatitis B is a viral infection that attacks the liver. The virus is transmitted through contact with the blood or other body fluids of an infected person. Yellowing of the skin and eyes, jaundice, dark urine, extreme fatigue, nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain are the symptoms of hepatitis B. Microorganisms cause disease not only in human beings, but also in animals. For example, anthrax is a dangerous cattle disease caused by a bacterium, Bacillus anthracis. Foot and mouth disease of cattle is caused by a virus. Blisters appear on tongue, lips and foot, which burst later. Foot lesions leave animals lame 
and unable to walk, feed or water. Mouth lesions are highly painful and cause animals to stop eating. Fungus cause aspergillosis in poultry. It is an infection of the respiratory tract in young birds. Trypnosoma is caused by a protozoan which causes sleeping sickness in animals. Several microorganisms cause diseases in plants like wheat, rice, potato, sugarcane, orange, apple and others. The diseases reduce the yield of crops. Citrus canker. Citrus canker is the disease of the citrus fruits. It is caused by bacteria. In this white spongy spots turn into gray or tan and finally turn into whole. This disease is spread through air. Rust of wheat. Rust of wheat is a fungal disease. It produces reddish brown spore masses in oval pustules on leaves or stem which turns back in the later stages. This disease spreads by means of air. Yellow vein mosaic of okra. Yellow vein mosaic results in the yellowing of the venal area of the leaves. In severe cases, complete leaf becomes yellow. Fruits of the infected plant also become small and yellowish green. This disease is caused by virus and spread by means of insects. Blight disease of potato. Blight disease of potato is fungal disease. In this, potato tuber gets destroyed and leaves dotted with brown spots. TMV. Tobacco mosaic virus attacks tobacco plant. They can be controlled by the use of certain chemicals which kill the microbes. Food poisoning. Food poisoning could be due to the consumption of food spoilt by some microorganisms. Microorganisms that grow on our food sometimes produce toxic substances. These make the food poisonous, causing serious illness and even death. Foods from animals, raw foods and unwashed vegetables can all contain germs that cause food poisoning. Some of the most common food poisoning bacteria are Salmonella, E. coli, Clostridium botulinum, Staphylococcus aureus. Symptoms of food poisoning, abdominal cramps, fever, diarrhea, vomiting. So, it is very important to preserve food to prevent it from being spoiled. Some ways to prevent spoiling of food are Steps to prevent food poisoning. Number 1. Cook food properly. Number 2. Refrigerate leftovers promptly. Number 3. Do not use contaminated food. Number 4. Wash fruits and vegetables before using. Number 5. Purchase pasteurized dairy products and fruit juices. Pasteurized foods are heated to a temperature hot enough to kill the bacteria that cause food poisoning. 6. Wash hands well before food preparation. 7. Sanitize food preparation surfaces regularly.